the clandestine service of the United States gave uh, the Clinton administration eight to ten chances to either capture or kill Osama bin Laden. Excuse me, stop. You gave the Clinton administration eight to ten chances to do what? To capture or kill Osama bin Laden. Uh, either capture him using our, the, the uh, assets of the CIA or providing exact uh, geographical locations so the military could kill him using their weapons. And, and there was a reluctance to act? Well, they didn't act a miniseries, Inside 9-11, which premieres tonight. It's an in-depth look at the events that led up to the attacks and everything that followed. Former CIA intelligence analyst Michael Scheuer played a key role in the special, and he joins us now to discuss it. You were uniquely qualified to, uh, to uh, assist the National Geographic folks in this because you were very much involved in tracking bin Laden, were you not? Yes, sir. I formed the first uh, unit to, to chase Osama bin Laden and try to capture or kill him in 1996, and I spent the rest of my career working against al-Qaeda until November of 2004, and well before 9-11. You obviously uh, were watching very closely the developments of al-Qaeda and bin Laden. Uh, did, did you think that the American government was not taking the threat seriously? Yeah, they really never took the threat seriously, sir. It yeah, they really never took the threat seriously, sir. It, it, they they uh, uh, talked a good game, but they really never did very much. Uh, we gave the clandestine service of the United States gave uh, the Clinton administration eight to ten chances to either capture or kill Osama bin Laden. Excuse me, stop. You gave the Clinton administration eight to ten chances to do what? To capture or kill Osama bin Laden. Uh, either capture him using our the, the uh, assets of the CIA or providing exact uh, geographical locations so the military could kill him using their weapons. And, and there was a reluctance to act? Well, they didn't act on any of them, sir. One time, uh, Osama bin Laden was having lunch with an Arab prince in the desert in Afghanistan, and uh, the target, there would have been no collateral damage except for the prince and his entourage. And instead of killing bin Laden, uh, Mr. Berger and Mr. Clark at the NSC decided to call the Emirates and warn them that we knew the prince was there.